Hello, my name is Garrett Carter, and I'm the CEO of A-Cube Design, or Accessible Affordable Accelerated Design. I'm joined in this venture by my co-founders, Caroline Karbowski and Enan Srivastava. So the problem we're tackling is that right now, less than 10% of blind students in the US are able to read and write Braille. This is mainly due to a lack of specialized teachers, as well as misconceptions surrounding Braille, and a general lack of affordable digital solutions existing. Less than 31% of blind adults are currently working. Of this, 90% are able to read and write Braille. So an investment in Braille literacy is an investment in blind people and their ability to work in the future. So the solution we proposed is something we call the Enigma Braille Reader. This device aims to use digitally rotating cells of Braille to achieve different combinations of Braille for the user. The user will then be able to interact with the device to be able to read things off, such as a book or the screen of their phone. This device is planned to be expandable into new modules, such that the user will be able to have custom solutions for them, such as a Braille learning module, where they would be able to interactively learn and read Braille in a much easier format than what's currently being taught or temperature, volume, and distance sensors, so they'll be able to conduct science in an accessible manner at school. We plan to enter the market with our service obtainable market of 55,000 blind students in the US. This market is estimated to be valued at $16.5 million. We then plan to move into the service addressable market of 1.3 million blind individuals in the US, where this market is valued at $216.9 million. The CDC estimates that this will grow to 64 million blind individuals by 2032, with the leading causes being glaucoma and diabetes, especially as the baby boom generation moves into old age. So we went to the blindness community to figure out what they'd want in a device. So first of all, on the learning side of the device, they wanted to see daily practice incorporated into their entertainment and work, as well as low cost braille displays as the current devices are quite cost prohibitive to acquire. Um, as well as virtual learning, especially with the rise of Zoom classes and things like that, that would greatly benefit them as, as they've had some struggles through this time. As well as the blind community wants to see um, expandability incorporated in the device, such as a QWERTY keyboard, a clock, a calendar, a notepad, things that will improve their productivity in work and in school. So we aim to first target our newly blinded users, such as uh, blind students and blind adults, uh, mainly through the interactive learning portion of our device. And uh, we will be able to reach these people through our partnering organizations of C3D, Clovernook, and different schools for the blind. So we plan to then move to our lead users, such as blind adults and seniors, Braille transcribers, and teachers, people who may already know Braille, but will greatly improve in their work uh, with the productivity side of the device with all the features we plan to add. We then plan to move to our power users, such as makers and device modifiers, as well as our partners over at Handycom. These people will be able to modify and use, utilize the expandability side of our device so that they can develop new and custom solutions for anybody who may find something of use. We have five main competitors of which we differentiate ourselves by the expandability and the affordability component. Starting with the affordability, our device is slated to be the cheapest of all these companies' devices. On the expandability side, each of these companies' devices are very limited in their hardware and their, um, their outside connections, such that um, it is very difficult for them to keep up with the times and keep updates with the users. Contrarily, our device aims to be extremely expandable and easily plug and play so that instead of buying a new device, you just plug in a new module. And it will also be backwards compatible to put new firmware on the device and stay up to date with the times. So we aim to combine the education, innovation, and Braille transcription landscape within our collaborative landscape to build the best possible Braille displays. So each company you see here across the bottom are companies we've worked with over the past four years that want to help us get to the best possible display. We aim to start with a seven character display targeted at $150 to get people learning and reading Braille. 
uh, followed by a 14 character display for $450, which is the industry standard size, um, followed by these expandability modules targeted at $50 to $100 each. So this set of products sets us in the affordable expandable space, differentiating us from our competitors, as well as creating a living and breathing product ecosystem to keep our product backwards compatible and up to date with the times. We've also garnered community support through our industry partnerships, as well as are planning to break into the education and assistive technology markets through the living, breathing ecosystem we plan to create, becoming the hub for Braille, being able to interact with the world in whole new ways. By the end of 2022, we'd like to finalize a display and send it out to about 100 beta testers, as well as by the end of 2023, we'd like to finalize an extended display, launch with modules, and ship out about 200 of these. 43% of our budget is delineated towards uh, supporting these and getting them out to the users. Only 27% is delineated towards overhead, um, such as legal and accounting fees, hourly wages, etc. And then 30% is solely first time setup expenses, where these will go away after we have prototypes out and ready to go. We aim to be an accessibility and interdisciplinary powerhouse. With my teammate Caroline, representing the accessible pillar of our business, being so connected and ingrained in the community, as well as Enan representing the affordable side of our business with his financial acumen, as well as myself representing the accelerated pillar of our business, getting this device validated with the users and out to them as quickly as possible. So we aim to be a culture and community driven organization, valuing engineering excellence and repping all kinds of technology in the space to empower the blind users. We've set up a board of about 10 community and engineering advisors to guide the project from both the accessibility side and the technical side. And between my three teammates, we've spent 400 hours working one-on-one -on -one with blind students since 2018. So if anybody's qualified to solve this problem, it's us. So our mission is to increase Braille literacy by providing a framework for learning and using Braille in people's everyday lives. Our vision is to put people first by lowering artificial barriers to entry they may be facing, as well as reduce misconceptions about them and their use of these devices, as well as provide accessible infrastructure and hardware standards so that we can create devices and infrastructure they can actually use. We value human-centered and empathetic design, as well as want to create more representation in the community through building this vast ecosystem. Overall, we aim to create the accessible future of tomorrow today. Thank you.